Hi guys, welcome back to another vegan vegetarian food list. I'm a vegetarian, but I love eating vegan, and this list is for those who don't want to look for their own vegan vegetarian list. So I did it for you. And in this video, I'm in San Juan, Puerto Rico. First on this list is Cafe Berlin, and this place is actually a Puerto Rican restaurant, but they have their own vegan menu to it. I do want to note this place is actually a bit on the pricier end, where the dishes range from 24 to 36 USD. This restaurant is a great option to find local Puerto Rican food. When one is in Puerto Rico, one must try Mofongo. And this place offers vegan Mofongo. I know a few other places in cafes, restaurants around San Juan offer vegetarian, but this place offers vegan. The vegan mofongo, which mofongo is the national dish of Puerto Rico, and it is lentils mashed. And inside typically has like pork skin or some sort of beef, but this has vegan beef in it. I thought it was going to be like mashed potatoes, but it's harder. Plantains are a bit like crispy and hard. I don't know if it's supposed to be hard or if it's supposed to be completely like mushy, but this is a little bit on the harder side. And this sauce is a Criollo sauce. But check out the inside. So this is the plantain, but in the inside it's stuffed with the vegan beef or the vegan whatever it's supposed to be. This is the beef inside. Okay, the beef part is a little smushy. It also has beans inside it as well. Next on this list is Chupico. This place isn't vegan or vegetarian, but they serve bowls. So the prices start around $11, and the pre made meals actually, some are not vegan or vegetarian, but you can ask it to be vegetarian. The inside is huge, but I just eat outside because actually if you continue walking right across from that cross street is this big park and if it is feeling good weather that day, you can definitely take it and sit at that little, I wouldn't call it a park, but it's like a little sitting area. So I got a bowl, it has rice, plantains, pico de gallo, onions, and like this special sauce. This isn't a vegan or vegetarian place, but they offer options. So this place has burritos and tacos of that kind of sort. And the price point for this isn't too bad. They start around maybe $10.
Next is an recess tentia. So this is a vegan grab and go. This place doesn't have a place on Google Maps, but I will link the Instagram below. Sometimes the owner will sell his stuff at this hotel, and sometimes it's just based through Instagram. And I got a drink called Casse Soul. I'm not entirely sure what it's really made out of but he said that it gives great health benefits and it's super tasty it's very sweet but at the end it has a bit of tang and because it's a grab and go it is very affordable this is only six bucks this next place is great for brunch it's called la Caretta, but via google maps it's mercado la Caretta. this place isn't vegan or vegetarian but they have options this is at a lower price point around 13 usd So I got a veggie omelet with fries and real. It's good, it's solid. Next on this list is Yeo Bar and Aperitivo. First walk in, it looks like it's small and dim, but if you come during the daytime, the room that I'm in, it is so bright and so cute. They actually have what two rooms and then even an outdoor patio. So I got Pai which has And it has sweet potatoes with some rice and beans. Mm. That's really good. Well, yes, this is a burrito. They put some sort of sauce in there that gives it a little bit of a sweeter touch to it. I like it. After the acid, it was good, it's good, and then I was curious about the sweet. The pico de gallo has a bit of pineapple in it. Isn't that interesting? So it needs a bit of that tiny, tiny sweet mixed with the savory. Also, my drink came out and I got the sangria. I got a spirit food sangria, so there's not alcohol. It just looks cute. <laughs> This is so good. Ooh, update. The more I'm eating this, the more I'm tasting the textures. So inside the burrito, there's actually crunchies. I don't know exactly what the crunches are, but it gives that crunchy texture after you just made the soft texture. It's so good. Another place is Senior Paletas. It also sells paletas, aka popsicles, but they sell this stuff. Senior Pollo chicken but it's ice cream in chicken shape i've never seen this before okay so this is 
vanilla ice cream with corn corn flakes. It has white chocolate on it too. Next on this list is Vegan with a D. This place has burgers, pizzas, wraps, and soups. Pretty much has everything. The price range here is from lower point to highish point because the appetizers are around 7 to 12 or 14, while the entrees are from 17 to even up to 27. is Lena's Eatery. This place has both good vegan and vegetarian options. The price point for this is on the lower side starting around 10 USD. They do have vegan options, and I saw that they have a tofu scramble, but I'm a vegetarian, so I do eat eggs. Mm -hmm. Next on this one is Ellen So this is a place for bowls, so it's only good for breakfast and lunch. They don't serve for dinner time, and actually a good drink. The bowl is starting at 13 USD. And honestly, trying to find this place wasn't the easiest. You have to go through a parking lot to find the restaurant. So I got magic pecan. You can actually choose two sides. So I chose salad and rice. Mm. 
It tastes really fresh. Really tasty. Next on this list is 100% HP. So this place is huge. Like kind of unnecessarily huge but do note on Google it does say it closes at 9 but last order is at 8. This place is also on the more affordable side at around I would say between 1 and 2 money signs. I got but I know I got chicken patty with mashed taro and a side of salad also I do want to know this place is incredibly casual in a sense that everything is not free. everything comes in a box whether you're eating it or doing it away it's good Mm. That's good too. Okay. Wow, this is very tasty. This stuff doesn't remind me of chicken. It reminds me of fish. So very interesting that they put it as chicken patty instead of like a fish patty. I also got a pink grapefruit drink. Yeah, grapefruit. <laughs> Next on this list is great for breakfast. So this is actually a hotel called the Dreamcatcher Hotel, but they have only vegan and vegetarian on the menu. The hotel is not the typical hotel. Personally, I stayed at the Sister Hotel and it's so, so beautiful. There's outside eating and inside eating and, and it's just so calming here. I also want to note that they do have dinner time and the price points are really good. Breakfast is starting around 6 USD to maybe around 14. Ooh, it's good. But I'm not a total vegan. I am just vegetarian. I'm just vegetarian. So I did take an omelet with veggies and then a side of salad. Mmm, really good. The next place for dinner is to share. So this place isn't vegan or vegetarian, but they have their own separate vegan menu. And the price point for this is around starting at 18 USD. offer free appetizers or free starters but this place does so she brought out these croquettes unfortunately this has meat it's like a meat ball i guess i don't know it kind of looks like butter i don't know but it has meat so it's not for us guys but this she says it has nothing in it so we'll see Yeah, it literally has nothing in it. <laughs> it's just basically in dough with some salt on it. It's good. I got to drink not a pina colada as I usually do, but I did ask her for the sweetest drink because I do like sweet drinks. So let's see. It's good. Not as sweet as I would like it, but it's still good. <laughs> so I got cauliflower steak. It has mushrooms in it, arugula, tomato. At the bottom looks like mashed potatoes. Yep. Man. I love cauliflower. It's really good. So I have a little bit of the smoky cauliflower, but it's very savory. 
So I got dessert, and dessert actually is not vegan, but they do have a vegan option. I got one with ice cream and brown fits, and I guess fluff and some fruit. Mm. The fluff has some banana in it. Good. I do want to know something interesting about this place. I decided to look back at the menu to see what exactly was in the ingredients and both the cauliflower steak and then the dessert. And I noticed that a lot of the ingredients listed are not what I received. And I found it interesting that even the waitress didn't let me know. For me, it's not a big deal. It was still tasty. But if it's for you a big deal, that's just a pre-warning. Oh, and what I mean, for example, is the cauliflower steak was supposed to have avocado. I'm allergic to avocado and I didn't read it on the menu because the menu was in Spanish. So I started freaking out after I translated it. But then realized there was actually no avocado that was given in the plate. And the waitress didn't even mention it, so that's how I found out. I'm going to end the vegan vegetarian vlog here. I really hope this helped you find your way around San Juan. I made the vegan vegetarian food this, so you don't have to. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do, because I have other vegan vegetarian food in other cities. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!